update to a developing story we first brought you yesterday. Good evening, everyone. Head Start and early Head Start classes operated by Central Mississippi Incorporated in Montgomery, Atala, Carroll, Choctaw Homes, and Webster Counties have all been suspended. This news leaves parents left wondering why and what are they going to do next. WCBI's Quentin Smith talks with some parents about the uncertain future. It's a slap in the face. Everybody's upset. We were done wrong. Parents in Winona are left stunned after receiving this letter telling them classes at Duck Hill Head Start are canceled. LaShonda Fowler has a granddaughter that attends the school and she explains how she first heard of this news. The bus came up and blowed the horn, which I, I'm very familiar with the bus when it pulls up in the yard. And as soon as she got off the bus, my school closed down, Grandma. I said, what they closed down for? And she gave me the letter. The letter gives parents a number to call to answer their questions. But when they called, this was the answer. The Head Start will not open centers on Wednesday, November 18th. It's a recorded message that says what is already printed on the letter. Some fishy going on. Parents are left confused, wanting to know why their child can't go to school, and they say they aren't getting any answers. My son is one of the children that will be transitioning into kindergarten. And this right here, what anyone knows, if you miss anything, is is you can't get that time back. Our children cannot get this time back. Parents say they are now faced with missing work or finding a babysitter. I'm a disabled single mom. It's really hard to try to come up with $75, $80 a week when you're on a fixed income once a month to pay for a daycare. Don't punish the kids because they ain't did nothing. They need a school to go to. Parents remain hopeful they'll soon have a better understanding why the Head Start Center's closed. In Winona, Quentin Smith, WCBI News. Now, the Office of Head Start falls under the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. In a statement to WCBI today, it explained why those schools were closed. Violations include mold spores, water stains, and water hazards in more than one center, the lack of firearm, pull boxes, extreme safety hazards inside and on the playgrounds and at the centers, along with the possible misuse of federal grant money. Here's what will happen next. The federal agency is suspending grants for the centers in the counties that we mentioned earlier for 30 days. A follow-up review will be conducted to determine if Central Mississippi Incorporated can fix those problems and reopen.